Yeah, so working on the um, wiring, the harness that, or I mean the loom that came with this is excellent. And uh, got everything hooked up right here. Um, traditionally, like a, this auto leveling sensor would be mounted somewhere around here, but because of the fantastic mounting points that the BLV MGN printer has, I'm able to actually just mount this towards the back of here. So all I have to do really is just stick with the volcano style um, hot ends with all my builds so that the discrepancy between the heights will be very minimal as far as like a, as long as I adjust everything as I need to be like to keep everything consistent. Maybe the only discrepancies would be like, like, like 0 0.01 or 0.2. Maybe. Oh, I'm, I'm probably not saying the the units all too too well but like i'm trying to keep it the consistency throughout the changing of these things are very easy so yeah i got the um, this thing right here really love the lightweightness of how this is overall considering as to like it's a direct drive and this thing is able to do flexible filaments and then I can change that to another one. This is like a little kit that I had left over from a project that I was going to do my old Ender, which is sitting there in the background, like the sad cat meme. But the uh, overall, like the, I got, I may be able to use this, may not. This is just like a testing thing, but like, I, I got another plate. I got like three of these plates from the nice little kit from BQ, not sponsored, just like, product I really wanted to get when I first saw it and then I just plug it in there and that's solid the only things I would like to try to do like maybe just for the fun of it is see if I can remake these aluminum plates out of like a like carbon fiber material to see if that's even like a possibility or if it's worth it but uh, Seems like a fun idea, probably, maybe, sort of. And as far as that goes, there's like the plate that I am using here was something that I redesigned a short, small bit from the original gantry. So the original one was this. By no means is this terrible. This is the amazing plate. It served me well for more, for a little more than a year. I do like the design of this, although I needed a way to mount this. The original like uh, mounting points for this thing is for like a MGN 12H or C, I forget, um, and didn't have the mounting holes at all present on here. So what I did was I added a few holes and sent it over to Send Cuts and got the holes mounted, give enough clearance to add the the belt clamps onto it. I, I like these a lot. Although a lot there's other people that like to use zip ties, but I kind of like I, I like these. I get around attached to them. But yeah, it, these came out nicely, if not just a little rough. But I knew that I needed to do my own work on them. These were laser cutted, and I just had to do like a little filing to smooth the edges and tapping or like uh, threading the holes that was not too much work it was fine and the but the quality of these things overall was nice although like there's a little bit of surface um stuff right there but what, I, what i'm going to do is like iodize these eventually after i get everything well and going but everything seems well everything's solid and what i'm using as to kind of get these thing on there without smashing against the belt things is I'm using like um, motherboard um, standoffs M3s like M3 threaded I do believe that those are eight millimeter if not five um, once I get this project um, finished finish I'll be posting um, the supplies needed to make this modification I mean like I, I got I still got a spare ones of these things but yeah 
probably good if I build any more of these printers. But yeah, it's, I, got, I got plenty of these. But well, since I still got like the whole mounts, I could probably if I design a different 3D printer, I could just like follow des the mounts on these things and just reuse it there. It's this is a nice tool changer. Like if I ever exceed the amount of plates I've received in my kit, I can ask um, BQ if I can just buy these plates individually because they're nice, they're solid. Although one thing I will hope that they have in a, additional parts of the kits if they have any like plastic um, pegs, al like alternative pegs, because like a um, it could reduce the weight and also it can act as a breaking point in case there's like a catastrophic failure. But this would probably be good. Like say if I'm adding like say like a laser engraver or like a big like a small pellet extruder onto here. So then it needs a little bit of girth. Uh, yeah, that's my progress on my tool changer BLV. Is it's gonna be a manual one, so not an auto one, of course. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to, like, once I get this thing going, I'd love to use this thing to test out different kinds of extruders and also possibly use carbon fiber nylon. That'd be amazing. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.